Hi, my name's Jamie Atkin. We're here at IBC. I'm going to give you a run through of some of the features in the Adlink Infinity OSD for the users um, and give you an idea of some of the new features in version 2. So you can see here we've got a OSD overlay which is running above our video content in the background and this is the route for users to change channels from their desktop position using their keyboard and mouse. The actual layout is very similar to version 1. As you can see we've got a list of channels and presets here. Down the right hand side we've got the normal connections. So we've got our view only, shared and exclusive mode connections. But on the left hand side there's three new columns here which allow the user to choose which devices or which channels they see on the OSD, um, allowing them to basically filter in and out certain types of devices. So we have here um, the blue icon, which is the left-hand side, and these are devices which are channels. And the channels allow you to connect to either a single or a dual head mode. And as you can see here, we have five channels available. And on the right hand side there's a pink screen which has multiple screens and those are our presets. So that's a function that allows you to not only change what's on your screen but some of the screens around you or screens which don't have keyboards and mice attached. Presets are available to the user as standard as long as they have access to the channel but sometimes they're not necessarily in use all of the time. So by filtering out those uh, presets we now have just a list of channels simply clicking the button again will bring them back up and if we want to we can then clear the channels down and leave us with just presets so you can very easily flick between the different modes. Now users have also asked us to implement some new options to allow them to filter which of their, their most access channels and we've added in the favourites button here as well so if I jump onto a few of these ones at the top um, and let's click one down here bring up the star filter and now we're only left with three, these three favourites, um, either presets or channels, it doesn't matter, but there are favourite connections. And then we still have the available connections on the right hand side. If we click into one of these, we're just going to change the channel into shared mode and we're going to see all of the content around us now change into a new channel connection.